small mouth. Nice small mouth. So it is a perfect morning in New Hampshire where I live. It's already 75 degrees out and I looked at the weather and it's supposed to go between one mile an hour and literally zero today till about 10 a.m. But I'm here a little bit before 5 a.m. I'm gonna be fishing some crystal clear water. I mean, I can probably see 12, 15 feet to the bottom here. And there are some big largemouth and some big smallmouth here. So that's why I enjoy coming here. Baits I'm gonna be starting off today is just a Kitech Easy Shiner. I got one in electric shad. Yeah, electric shad. And then I believe this one is gold flash minnow. I'm gonna start off with the gold flash minnow. And since I'm gonna be targeting depths around 20 feet, I wanted to kind of upsize my weight a little bit to a fifth of an ounce. Sometimes I'll even go lighter than this to a tenth of an ounce. But because I'm fishing pretty deep in clear water here, I really wanna to get to the bottom and hold bottom pretty easy. These Kitech four inch easy shiners are one of my favorite little swim baits. The soft plastic they use is super soft, so you get super good action out of this bait, but the trade-off is you don't really have that good durability. <clears throat> so it's basically all personal preference. You get less action the more durable your bait is. You get more action the less durable the bait is. So it's just kind of personal preference. And the way I'm going to be rigging this up is I'm just going to go in through the nose, maybe about a quarter of an inch, out through the bottom. And then twist it around and then just bring it up through but try to make it as straight as you can probably doesn't really matter that much but as you guys can tell the shiner is laying basically pretty flat and now when this is on the bottom it's gonna be standing up because I'm using like a little Ned head instead of like a shaky head or something like that it's gonna be standing like this, and I think that'll be good because this will imitate not only a little minnow, but like maybe a little leech or something like that, looking for something on the bottom. I mean, this is six, seven feet of water. Like, the water here is crystal, crystal clear, which is super cool. I already got one. How long did that take? Oh, he spit it. There he goes. No way. Dang. Well, I haven't even been here for uh, 30 seconds. I actually just flipped over. I saw a boulder underneath the water there. I just flipped over to the boulder and sure enough, one was on and taking it. And unfortunately, the last time I went fishing, I broke my mic. It got wet and fried. So hopefully the new mic I bought is working just fine. Now I'm in about 10 feet of water and I'm only about 15 feet off of shore and it drops right off to about 30 feet off to my right here. So uh, that's where I'm gonna be targeting is this drop off along here.
That's a nice one. That is a nice one. Been in the boat like crazy. <laughs> I just did a full 360. No, 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 no. <laughs> Gotta be easy on them. I have a really light wire hook. Whoa, he is dancing there we go look at him he got hooked in that jaw but it looks like he healed up quite well. He's obviously feeding a nice, fat, stocky fish. But uh, let's release her. All right, well, there's definitely a bed, no fish on it. So that's a good sign. Hopefully they're all post-spawn. Got him. <laughs> he was hiding right underneath that log right there. Just a little largey. Just a little guy, about a quarter pound. Another little largey. Little largey. Oh, that is a nice large mouth. I was not expecting that. He's jumping again. I was not expecting that. He must have been in those lily pads. He's jumping, he's jumping, he's jumping, he's jumping. That is nice. I was just doing a straight retrieve. Look at him fight down there, that's so cool. I'm actually just gonna flip him. Oh. 
That is a nice large mouth. Really long. Just boop. <laughs> Look at that. Super long fish. That is awesome. It's gotta be like a 20 incher, but looks like a little spawned out, but oh, that's cool. All right, four fish later, which is pretty good for a Kitex swim bait. I'm gonna put a new one on. But uh, just to reiterate how I do it is I go in through the nose, only about maybe a quarter of an inch. I only wanna go in through the nose the same distance from the head of the jig to the keeper right here. So whatever that distance is, is the only distance I wanna go in through the nose. So just a little bit, bring it all the way through, flip it around. Little large mouth. I saw about, I don't know, 10 of them over there. Ah. Oh. Jeez. Some of these fish are just shallow. I thought I would be having to go offshore a little bit, which might be true for the smallmouth, but largemouth are super shallow. Oh my goodness, that was such a nice smallmouth. So much for only the largemouth being shallow. That was a really nice largemouth. I mean, smallmouth right there. <laughs> Got one. Ooh, nice smallmouth. Nice small mouth. Nice small mouth. Nice small mouth. <laughs> Oh, you can say goodbye to him. Oh, he is jumping now. <laughs> He's like, the run didn't work. Let me see if I can start jumping. He's underneath the boat. Don't jump on the other side of the boat, please. I'm trying to be easy with him. But at the same time, <laughs> Come back, please. <laughs> okay, I think I got him. Yes! Yes! What a colorful, colorful small mouth whoa 
Look at that smallie. That is what I'm talking about. What a solid, solid smallie. It's pushing three pounds right there. Look at it swim away. Got one. Right off the edge of that tree. Large mouth. He's gonna jump. Got him. All right, little large mouth, about a pound. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> okay. I basically flipped in there just to see if my theory would hold true. And it did, a little large mouth. I swear, every piece of cover that I've thrown to so far, even a tiny little log like that coming into the water has a fish on it. Now they haven't all been five pounders or anything like that. But still. Oh yeah, that's a big bed. Don't see a fish on it though. That thing is big. Yeah, I don't see any fish on it or anything. Not easy pulling this fish out of all these lily pads. There we go, he's out. Whoa, no! I think it was that small mouth right there. He turned on my bait real quick though. 